Hey guys, I'm Jessica Lachelle. It's nice to meet you all. Um, today I wanted to go over a little bit about my neck brace, um, how I ended up getting this injury, along with um, some things I do to help me manage my pain, along with um, some comfort measures. Because after three months, nothing's comfortable, especially not this thing. Um, so, again, my name is Jessica Lachelle, and I want to say April 29th um, was the night of my injury. I work for a manufacturing company, and I do quality for this manufacturing company. And um, during that time, um, a forklift driver um, had dropped packaging, and it had um, hit me from behind, or... I believe that the forklift driver ran into the back of me and it just like knocked me out. I'm just not sure exactly what happened because I was knocked unconscious. I didn't see anything because it happened in the back of me. So, <clears throat> all right. So, um, during that time, um, after I had got hit um, by the packaging or by the forklift, um, the um, I remember actually I was dreaming I remember like I remember I was at work and I was like marking my parts and all of a sudden I started dreaming okay I don't know why I started dreaming until after I woke up and I had dreamt about um, like I had to like I had to get something um, I'm not sure what it was um, but that was my dream and when I woke up from my dream everything was hazy and I remember my boss coming to me and he's asking me am I okay um, do I remember where I'm at also um, he's asking me to just keep looking straight and he's like do not whatever you do just just keep looking straight do not look down don't look anywhere and when he said that, I instantly um, just kind of looked over. I did like this, and um, I had seen blood everywhere. Blood was, because he was holding my head, and I wasn't sure. I didn't know what happened, and my head, I don't know if you can see it, but um, yeah, I was almost scalped um, in the front, so... Um, he was holding my head, trying to keep the bleeding down, um, and um, he's asking me questions, and I'm like trying to answer them as best I can. You know, I really don't know what happened. He had told me to, you know, just remain calm and be still. The ambulance were on their way, and um, <clears throat> and I did. You know, he had asked me if I felt hurt or if I was hurt anywhere, and I just remember stating like my neck my neck is hurting really bad and the paramedics came and um, they asked me if I could stand and I, I, I could stand you know um, with some help I could stand and um, they asked me to lay on the gurney and um, I remember before I laid on the gurney I had took my work sweater off and I placed it behind my neck because my neck was in so much pain and um, then they had took me from the gurney to the um, to the ambulance truck, and um, they had then removed my sweater and they put the um, collar on me. Um, the ambulance had a different type of collar. I left it at the hospital. I was so disappointed, but um, it was actually like one I could get wet. This one, it just it stays soaking wet until like it until a couple of hours it'll dry but um they gave me a neck brace to put on temporarily until i got to the hospital and um, when i got to the hospital they gave me cat scans x-rays they did all type of tests on me and um, that's when we found out that i had a jefferson fracture i fractured my posterior and interior um, c1 along with um, i had a skull fracture to the back of my head the, the right condyle um so i was just all like i was all messed up you know and um i was in the hospital for about nine hours i didn't have to stay overnight 
thank goodness. Um, I just remember being in the hospital, um, talking about how hungry I was because, you know, I work 12 hour shifts, you know, and, um, you know, we take our lunches, you know, pretty spread out. Um, so I was so, I was starving at the hospital and I kept asking them for food. You know, they wanted to keep giving me medication and I hate taking medicine. So I was kind of like refusing it, but yet they gave it to me through an IV. So I just couldn't refuse that, I guess. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they kept trying to give me medicine and, um, I tried my best to stay away from medicine, um, but it actually helped. Um. So, um, I've had this thing on for three months and, um, during this time, you know, I'm, I'm due to have this off in, in a week. So the things, the complications that I still have are my back still hurts and my neck still hurts and it's three, it's still three months in and I'm still experiencing a lot of pain. Um, my doctor did prescribe me some muscle relaxers um, I prefer not to take them unless like I'm having a really hard night and um, sleeping is always hard um, even after three months I've still not managed to get a good night's rest unless I take medicine um, I say it hurts for me to sit up um, or stand up for a long time um, I have a lot of tension in my shoulders um, and some things that I generally do daily to help me out with these pains are yo light yoga and I like to exercise daily. Not exercise. I don't exercise. I only um, stretch. I just do stretches. Um, you know, I stretch my arm muscles out and um, I stretch all of my body, you know. Um, I don't try to focus on just one thing. Um, I'd say, um, I'd say some things to help me along the way wearing this neck brace is add an extra cushion because since this is the only brace that I have and I've been wearing it for three months, um, it, it's very, it's very uncomfortable. Um, so I have to add like maybe like I have kids, so, um, I have a four year old, so she has like little shirts and I like fold them up and I put them up under there um, so that way the hard plastic isn't hurting my skin and digging into it because um, I've had some um, some sores due to this thing um, being on all the time and being so tight around my neck um, because when it's loose I don't feel as comfortable um, but um, let's see what else do I want to talk about um, that's all I think um, I do want to I will have a short video talking about um, talking with my doctor um, and I will have it recorded whenever I get the brace removed and I will have to go through some physical therapy um, in the next week or two um, to help me with my neck muscles I'm not sure what to expect after this I was actually looking on YouTube to try to get um, some good ideas on what to expect and um, I really didn't get any good um, I didn't find any good videos so that's why I wanted to make a video and I'll definitely want to post um, whenever my brace comes off I want to tell you all how everything is going um, and if I'm still experiencing the pain that I'm experiencing now um, I hope hopefully after the brace comes off the pain subsides but unfortunately I don't think that the pain will go away right away um, I look forward to seeing you guys and um, speak with you guys later bye